According to information obtained from Lasovsky's contact list, the frontman for the Cabal is a former GRU colonel named Leonid Baikov. We suspect that the network he represents is run by some of the highest ranking officers in the Russian army. If so, there's no weapon in the Confederation's arsenal that's safe from them. Baikov was added last minute to a trade delegation traveling to Azerbaijan for the upcoming Victory Day celebration. They're inaugurating the new Russian embassy there. We believe that Baikov is using the trip as cover to conduct a major arms deal for the network. Archer, Kestrel, will be inserting you into the embassy to gather intel on Baikov's activities. It's imperative that we locate and recover those stolen warheads before it's too late. these public areas are patrolled by Azeri nationals. You are not to target them under any circumstances. Both the U.S. and Russia stand to lose face if this operation goes south. How is it that Baikov is your embassy for an illegal arms deal? A GRU colonel like Baikov could make use of the embassy's high security areas with no questions asked. There is no safer place to do business. Work your way across the embassy perimeter and enter the building via the second floor. Whatever you think. Threat neutralized. Just before handover, something's happened. So what? Is deal off? I think that depends on what the Azeris have to say. Be ready for anything. discuss business over cell phones or internet chats. They know not to get drunk and brag to their friends. My source at SVR said their information is very specific. They probably have agents crawling all over Baku right now. What is this trouble? Some attempt to jack up the price at the last minute? Do you think I am some third world peasant you can push around? It. I represent the government of Azerbaijan. You cannot talk to me like this! Mr. Tagzak, please. This isn't productive. Can I talk to you privately for a moment? I don't have time for this, Tagzad. The transaction has been compromised. You and I have nothing left to discuss. Don't turn your back on me, you arrogant son of a bitch! You took our money! And you're going to give us what we promised! Or so help me! You'll pay for it! Archer. Baikov's deal just went seriously off the rails, Hanson. Do we intervene or no? No, no, no. Please, no, you can't! Don't. As of now, Baikov's security detail are valid targets. Engage if necessary. Tango's lined up. getting ready to leave for the airport. We need to trigger a security lockdown to trap him and his men inside the embassy. There's a security control room on the other side of the ambassador's offices. Third echelon can use your opset to hack the system via wireless uplink. Good shooting. Then what? 
Do we go after Baikov or his merchandise? It's not either or. Baikov? Unit 1, switch to Shadow Bravo and stand by. You can't dodge bullets forever, Freddy! Go in fast! Intruder! Don't wait! You die either way! Makes no difference! Badla! Great! This dead! You! You can't! and we're in a position to start the uplink. We'll connect remotely to the security network via your OPSAT. One of you needs to remain within EMF induction range of the network port while the intrusion routines hack the system's firewall. It should take about a minute. Bikov's men will know there's a problem as soon as the uplink starts. They know exactly where to find us. Happy times. of the embassy. We need to take care of them quickly. Stuck on the second floor terrace connecting the main building with the embassy annex. Archer, Kestrel, it's now or never. Secure that crate. 